Good morning, or I guess afternoon. Yeah. How are we doing? Hi. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Did you get winning the NFC Player of the Week award there? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, no, those those kind of things are always nice, you know, and um, you know they they come after wins, which is ultimately what's important, and uh, hopefully we can keep that moving, uh, keep that going for us moving forward. Can uh, you share with us the uh, kind of incline the offense has been on as you all kind of carve out an identity here through a game? Yeah, I think, you know, each each week requires, you know, a, a, a different effort, a, you know, a different plan. Um, and we've been better, you know, in some weeks than others. But uh, through eight games, we found our way to, to four wins and got the job done four times. So hopefully we can improve that, you know, as as we move forward. But I think... You know, as far as finding our identity, I think we're still working on it. You know, we're still chipping away, trying to improve in certain areas and get better in certain spots. But, um, you know, while you're doing that, you got to find ways to win. And uh, we've done a decent job of that so far. And, you know, Cordell and, and Kyle look, you know, like the guys y'all are, 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 are been able to, you know, lean on a little bit. But there's some other guys around that might be able to get in there and help you out as you, uh, you move on. Or, are you looking at it that way? Yeah, for sure. You know, I think. You talk about what CP has done um, in the first, you know, half of the season. He's played well. Kyle's done a good job. He continues to to improve and get better week to week for us. Um, you know, but we're at our best when everybody's getting involved, and you know, you're finding ways to to get different guys, you know, going in the run game, get Mike going in the run game, uh, you know, and and in the pass game, spreading the ball around, making it difficult on defenses to uh, key in on on what you're trying to do. And so, you know, I think our guys. We'll continue to step up. I thought Russ did a nice job for us last week. You know, a couple of key catches and uh, starting to get his legs back under them um, after having been out for a little bit. So uh, guys like that, Tajay Sharp, Alameda Zakia, so Z had a great game for us last week. Um, different guys are going to step up at different times for us throughout the year. How, how um, uh, I don't know, weird, bizarre, or whatever the word is, to, is will be facing Coach uh, Dan Quinn uh, in his defense? I know he's doing different stuff, but you know, how do you, how's that going to feel for you? I mean, I, I, listen, I love Dan. And, um, you know, he, he's he's an awesome person. He's a great coach. I had, I, I really enjoyed playing for him. Um, and, and so, you know, wish him nothing the best, but he knows what this week is about for both of us. is about trying to get a win. And uh, he's he's an incredible competitor. So once we're playing, it's, it's about going against their defense. And, um and I'm sure Q will be locked in the same way. You said you've seen the Chiefs doing massively differently. Um, I, I don't know about massively differently. I, you know, I think every every year's, you know, you evolve and you feature the players that you have differently. Uh, and I think he's done a nice job of, you know, using the guys that they have there in Dallas and and trying to you know emphasize their strengths and, and allowing them to play fast and. Um, you know, physical and, and fly around. I think, you know, he's done a – their defense has played really well this year. I think he's done a great job. Are the, I mean, I know you said, you know, it's not about you, it's not about Dan, but is there one thing that – memory that really stands out with the two of you that, that you kind of go back to? I mean, it's impossible to pick one. Um, you know, Dan – I mean, he's a he, he's a he's a great friend, and um, you know, a guy that I have a ton of respect for. So it's impossible to pick one, but uh, there's so many times. I mean, he's he's for the people who are, were here and, and got to know him. There's he's as good of a person as as you're going to find. And so, um, like I said, I, you know, I, I don't have one that I can pull from. I've got tons, and um, he's just a great person. Have you been in much contact with him since? What, you know, since he got to the middle of last year? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I text him in the middle of the season. He's always asking about how my kids are doing and stuff like that. So uh, he and Stacy are great people. And, uh, yeah, he's he's kept in touch and I've kept in touch. You were talking to um, Arthur before you came in here, and I thought he made a really interesting comment about you. And he said that you've reinvented yourself in subtle ways through each system that you've been in. And I was hoping if you could kind of maybe go further into depth about that. Yeah, you know, I think um, – you know, I have to think about it for a second. You just put me on the spot. But, uh, you know, I think with each coordinator, what, what they ask you to do uh, or what they emphasize from you might be a little bit different. And, you know, I've, I've always felt like, 
you know, you, you've got to find the way that your game fits into, you know, what they're trying to do. And, you know, I feel like my skill set is, you know, ha has been productive with a lot of different people. And, um, you know, you, you, try and, you try and tweak things here and there. But I'm always, you know, always trying to group things in my brain in similar ways, you know, to try and keep my feet, my footwork, whether it be different play action pass concepts that he has and things that I have not done. You know, I try and group them in specific things so I can get myself um, feeling like it's something that I know uh, or feeling like it's something that, you know, I've done at a certain point in my career. But um, you just try and do what, what they're, you know, the, what they're asking you to do. And, you know, I think every, you know, every head coach and every, every coordinator is different from what they expect from you. How do you kind of, you kind of answered this, but how do you kind of like balance like you fitting the scheme versus like still being yourself in the yeah, I mean, Art does a great job of that. Not not just for myself, but for all our guys. You know, he, he you 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 know he does a great job of adapting to the people that we have. And each, you know, each year is going to be different. Each you know sometimes each week, depending on who's up and who's down, is going to be different. And you got to you know try and accentuate the things that guys do well and put them you know in position to be successful. And I think you know for me, I feel like he's done a, a really good job of that. Put me in positions where I'm comfortable. He's constantly asking me about, you know, how I feel about certain things that we're doing. And um, I've, I've really enjoyed, you know, that back and forth. So you, you had a play where you stepped around Cam Jordan. I think you made the Mario Davis fall. The broadcast was like comparing you to Lamar Jackson for a second. <laughs> and then you got the first down. What, what is going through your mind on a play like that? Uh, you know, just – I don't know. You just you play. You know, I I, I think you know I, I talk to our coaches all the time about you want to get to the point where you're playing on autopilot. You know, and and you're not really thinking. You're just going out there and uh, reacting to what you see because you you know done the work to put yourself so that your eyes and feet are in the right spot. But when you're making a play that's off schedule, you you know you're you're just trying to get the first down. And um, you know that's that's as simple as it is. I, I don't really know what else you think about. Nope. I mean, I kind of feel like I've, uh, you know, I kind of feel like I've done this throughout my entire career. And um, some weeks, you know, probably, you know, happens more often. But, you know, I, I really think I've played the same way for, for a long time. How, if at all, will Dan's familiarity with you and your with him affect what happens Sunday? I think, you know, I, I you know, I, I don't know. I, I think it comes down to, you know, making the plays on the field uh, Sunday. You know, I think he, he's got a knowledge of, of my skill set for sure, you know, and, um, and, and I had know some of the guys, you know, on their defense too, and they know me and, you know, those kind of things. But I think more so than anything, you know, he, he, what I've learned from him and what he's going to do is he, he's going to have his guys ready to play, and they're going to understand what they're trying to do. And uh, he's, he's really good about that. So I know that, you know, the familiarity of knowing that their guys will be ready to go, um, those guys are going to know what they're trying to accomplish on the defensive side of the ball. We're, we're going to have to step up to that and, and you, know, you know, match that and, and um, you know, hopefully be better than that. Uh, Matt, uh, it seems like uh, Mike Davis really enjoyed like kind of stepping up in pass pro. Like, how important has he been for you all when he, when he asked to you know step up like that? Yeah, he's he's been critical. You know, saving saving plays for us. Um, you know, those those are the unsung heroes. Um, you know, that that kind of create explosive plays. And Mike's willingness to do it and and the physicality with which he does it, um, you know, is 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 huge for us. Um, I, you know, nobody appreciates it. I, nobody appreciates it more than I do. And, uh, and, um, you know, he's, he, he knows that he knows how I feel about that, but he's done a great job for us in terms of pass protection. And, uh, to stay along with pass protection, as far as Jake Matthews, um, Cam Jordan was pretty quiet for the most, most, for the most part, like how, what type of job he did this week against, you know, Robin? Yeah, that's, that's just who Jake is, you know, uh, week in and week out. Um, he works extremely hard, does a great job during the week of getting himself ready to go, understanding, 
uh, the players that he's going against and, and coming up with a, with a really good game plan for himself in terms of run game and pass protection. And, um, you know, he, he's, he's, a, he's just a solid player. And more often than not, those are the type of weeks he's going to have. He's going to be rock solid for us. I, you know, I don't view it as any more. You know, this is um, this two different teams. You know, two two different years, completely different. You know, spots of of, of the season. So, um, I've played long enough to to know you got to let things go and, and you got to move on to what's in front of you and worry about the things that are in front of you. Why, why do you think it's clicked seemingly better than it ever has with CP in year nine of his career? Uh, I can't, you know, it's hard to say because I can't speak for, you know, previous experiences that he's had. Um, since he's come into the building, he's worked hard. Um, he has a unique skill set, uh, you know, and, and I think our coaching staff has done a good job of, you know, putting him in spots to, to make plays and to bring the best out of him. Um, so I, I can't speak on, on the previous eight, uh, but this year, you know, from the moment he got here, uh, he's been locked in, dialed in, and uh, done a great job for us. What did Maya to do to help him with all the multiple roles? Because you're asking him to do a lot of things. How do you try to make that easier during the week for him to be ready for that? Yeah, just be really clear uh, with him. You know, if, if we're running routes or doing things like that, what I expect. Uh, you know, we talk a lot on the side, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, about, you know, if we're running this route, I'm really expecting you to be at this depth or at this spot. And he's... He's receptive and, and, you know, he's got the ability to then do it, you know, which is, it's one thing to know it. It's, it's, it's really important that you're able to do it. And, um, you know, that part of it ha has been really productive for us, but he's worked hard. You know, he really has. We asked him to do a lot of things and, and uh, line up in a lot of different places. And he's worked really hard to get himself ready week in and week out. Yeah, I mean he's he's uh, he was a great teammate for for a long time, and um, you know playing a, a little bit different role and, and position um, than he was here in Atlanta. But um, he's doing a nice job. He really, you know, he's always been a physical player. For him to kind of move down more into the box and play some of that linebacker spot, I mean he's he's more than capable of doing it, and he's played really well. So. Um, I know he's a great player, and uh, I know how tough he is and, and how hard he works, so it's going to be a challenge. And uh, touching a little bit on, uh, I think Corey asked it a little bit earlier about um, you know, playing in different systems and you know, having new things to you, know, you learn about yourself sometimes. Is, was there, do you ever have like, those gotcha moments, like anything like surprising yourself that you're like, oh, like, I didn't know I could do this or like, do this well? You know? Um. <laughs> More on the other end, like when you're learning the system, like, damn, I didn't know it as well as I thought I was, <laughs> you know, the, the conversion rules or stuff like that. Uh, early on, I feel like sometimes it, it, it gets you that way. But, um, no, I mean, for, for the most part, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like I've, I've got a consistent approach and know, you know, what I can and cannot do and try and play to my strengths. Last one, Charles. I know that you uh, followed and enjoyed the, the break season, and so I know that you know what their midseason uh, – moves did for, for that team as you're at your midseason and this team is at a similar point as, as the Braves were. Um, is there any parallel and do you is it more difficult for an uh, NFL team to make a midseason move like that chemistry wise than, than, than maybe you would see in baseball? Yeah, I think it's different. You know, I think um, I, I, you just don't see it as often, you know, in, in football um, to basically – you know, they basically rebuilt one third of, of their team in the outfield. That'd be like us replacing the whole, you know, offense or, you know, sp special teams or something like that. It's just, it just, um, that part of it is different. Um, I think the things you can, you know, draw on though in terms of comparisons is about, you know, really the team, you know, kind of grinding through the season, finding their way and then coming together uh, at the right time and getting hot at the right time. And, um, you know, I think those are the things that translate, you know, from baseball to football to basketball to whatever it is. And um, it's a team, you know, that when you watch from the outside perspective, didn't lose any belief, 
didn't lose any confidence even through the ups and the downs. And I think, I think it was like after the All-Star break, they had like 18 games in a row where it was win-loss, 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 right? Up, down. So I, I'm not sure of the exact number, but that's kind of the pattern we've been in. And so hopefully we can get to that point where we push through that, are able to stack some wins, you know, back-to-back -back and get hot like they did. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.